What is up, home theater enthusiast? My name is Chana, and if you've never seen me or been to my YouTube channel, just know that I am one of the creators of the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. I made this in partnership with my buddy Joe, and we created 160 Dolby Atmos tracks to test and to manually calibrate your Dolby Atmos home theater. So if you want to transform your home theater and change movie night forever in your home, make sure you pick up a disc at the link down in the description, spatialcd.com. Now people have asked how to use the disc, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do a level matching with the disc and a DB meter and a tripod. Let's go upstairs and get into it. I've got two cameras going, one on the screen. It's at an angle so that I don't get in the way of the you know noise, the pink noise. And I've got a camera on the DB meter. Now the DB meter is set to slow so we can get more of an average instead of just crazy peaks. It's also set to a C weighting and it is at the main listening position. Now, as far as the AVR is concerned, when we get into the actual levels portion of it, it's going to shoot out some pink noise. So what I'm gonna do is just get in there and press mute right away. Uh, the other thing you can do is just kind of jot down and take notes. So on the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, I'm in the level matching section on the left and I have 5.1.4 selected because that's the system I have here. One thing I need to do quickly is change the volume to a dB as opposed to zero to 98. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this up to zero dB because that's where we want to you know, calibrate the system to. And I'm gonna hit play on this and we're gonna check out what's on the dB meter. Actually, one more thing we need to do. I totally forgot we need to come in here and change speaker presets because this is speaker preset one and I've already done this on preset one. Preset two is blank. So we are gonna use preset two. Again, just double check. Yeah, speaker preset two, done and dusted. Let's get out of there. And here we go. Front left. All right, so I read 74.6. Gonna go into speakers, manual setup, levels, and then I'm gonna hit mute real quick. Once I hit test tone start. Okay, there's mute. Now I'm just gonna raise this up by half a dB. Here we go, unmute and pa unpause. All right, that one was uh, pretty solid at 75.1 and 75.0, so we're gonna leave it there and continue on. All right, that one was reading 75.7. I just paused the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, or S-A-C-T for short. Let's go back into levels here. When I hit test tone, I'm gonna hit mute, go down and change this to negative. Ah, the mute didn't work. All right, so I'm changing the center, center to negative 0.5. And if you're wondering why we're not using the test tones built into the AVR, we're using band limited pink noise, which is a THX spec and it's band limited from 500 Hertz to two kilohertz, as opposed to just full range pink noise. You don't want that. All right, we made our changes to the center channel. Let's see how we did on the DB meter. All right, so that one was 75.1, 75.2. So that's Pretty legit, let's just keep it there and move on to the front right. This one is locked at 74.9 and bounced up to 75. I don't think we really need to change this one. All right, now we're gonna move to the surround right, I believe. Hit play on the SACT. Just gonna fast forward that until I see the ball in the, there. All right, I'm seeing 75.5, uh, 75.6. Let's just drop it down half a dB and make sure what we got is good. Looks good to me, 75.1, 75.0 back and forth there. So that's good. Let's keep it going to the surround left. All right, this one's pretty hot. This is the speaker that's closest to the dB meter and it was reading about 80.5, so Let's get in here and drop it down by like five dB. 
All right, I'm gonna hit play and then rewind this a little. All right, paused it. Looks like it was hitting 75.6, 75.5. So let's bring it down another half a dB and then we should probably be good to go. Now rewind a little bit. All right, 75.1. So we're good to go on that. We're gonna move on to the height, front height left. Front height left. I'm seeing 72.6, 72.5, so I'll bump it up by two and a half and see what happens there. Front height left is kind of different. They they go front height right, then rear height right. So just be careful what you're what you're changing. Make sure it's the correct speaker. Yeah. Okay, unmute, play, rewind a little. Front height left. Yeah, baby. All right, to the next speaker. We can just fast forward it to move it along. There we go. 74.2, so we're just gonna bump it up half a dB and see what happens there. All right, I'm gonna bump it up one more. It's gonna go over, but it's the only option we have. 74.7 or... 75.2. I'd rather go a little higher than a little lower. So front height right goes to 1 dB. One dB. Okay. All right. That was going from 75.1 to 75.2. So perfect. We'll just leave it there. Keep going. Rear height right. 72.4. So we're going to go two and a half. On the rear height right. Let's keep it moving. All right, 73.6, so one and a half maybe? Let's try one first and then see what happens there. Rear height left. No, nope, looks like we need that 0.5. All right, there we go, 75.1. All right, so now we're getting onto the LFE, and the LFE is a little bit different. If I were to, you know, have it at 75, there's just going to be no bass at all. So I'm probably going to shoot for 82, 83, maybe 81, 83 for the LFE. Yeah, that's 85, and it's just way too loud. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was kind of cool, actually. All right, uh, let's go manual setup, levels, get down to subwoofer, and drop it by like, ah, 7 dB, we'll say. Damn, it's still at 85, huh? Damn, 84 only. All right, I'm going to have to mess with this one and drop it down. Oh, I don't think I can go that much lower. I might have to change the level on the subwoofer itself. Yeah, negative 12 as far as I can go. And I'm sure this is still way too hot. Huh. Not bad, 83.6. So I'm going to knock uh, two notches off of the subwoofer real quick. All right, that was hovering between 82.4 to 82.7. So I think that's probably a good place to keep it. Now, the thing about the subwoofer is... It's on negative 12 here. So if I need to turn it down, I can't turn it down in the AVR. So I'm going to bump it up like 5 dB and then maybe turn it down on the sub one more notch. All right, it's hitting 83. I'm going to try 1 dB down from where it's at now and then call it a day. See where that ends up. 82.6, the higher side of 82, I'm gonna just drop it down another half a dB. Because sometimes, like, some of these TV shows my wife watches, they just get kind of crazy on the bass when it goes to an ad. All right, it's now ranging from 82.2 to 82.6, so I'm totally cool with that. So, that's pretty much how you would do a level matching with the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. You do need a calibrated mic. And you got to play around with that LFE. And I would suggest definitely listening to some scenes. And if it's too much bass, you know, come back in, drop it half a dB, 
you know, if it's not enough, you know, bump it up. But 85, I think, is a little too hot. 75 is definitely, like, anemic and non-existent. So I kind of like in between 82 and 83. That's my personal taste. Uh, If you like it hot, keep it at 85. But this is in a living room, so I don't want it, like, super hot. Especially when my wife is watching, because then she'll be like, turn down the bass. Which means I'll go in and knock off, like, 2 dB in the AVR, not on the subwoofer itself. All right, so that's it for this video, and stay tuned. I'm going to do speaker crossover points in the next one.